go. All right. Now with the checklist, it doesn't mean you do every single thing. It just means you go through the entire checklist. So for this first one, go ahead and um, draw your balancing line. And how many events do you think happened in this story? One event. So guess how many steps is going to take to solve it? Just one. So let's see which step that is. Um, can I distribute? No, there's no group. So go ahead and put an X through distribute. Means I don't have to do that step. It's already been done. Um, can I combine like terms on the left? Can I combine like terms on the right? No, there's only one term. There's nothing to combine. So put an X. I don't have to do that step. Do I need to get variables on one side? No. It's already, there's no variables on the right. It's already on one side. So I don't need to do that step. Do I need to get constants on the separate side? No. It's already on the right. So, this must be the step that we need to do. Do the opposite to get x, okay, or your variable. In this case, it's a y. y was multiplied by 8. That means I got to do what? Divide both sides by 8. Okay? Which leaves me with y equals 4. Check it off. That's one I had to do. Um, do you guys just want me to just go through the rest of it? Or do you want to ask specific questions? One, two, there's eight of them. Do you want me to just go through every, just tell me whatever you need. If you need me to go through all eight, I'm going to go through all eight. But you guys are going to have to like stay awake <laughs> for all of that. You can't daydream. So do you want me to go through all eight or do you want me to go through specific ones? That's two people. That's a good question. All right. Here we go. Draw your balancing line. Is there parentheses for me to distribute? No. No. Skip. Can I combine x with 7? No. Skip. Do I have variables on different sides? No. Skip. Do I have constants on different sides? Yes. So I have to do this step. Do I want to move the negative 7 or the negative 9? Negative 7. What's the opposite of subtracting 7? So add 7 to both sides. That undoes that. Leaves me with x equals I owe $9. I have 7. I owe 2. So I've separated numbers. Do I need to do step C? No. X is already by itself. This was a one-step equation, so it only took one step to solve. So you got x equals negative 2. Because owing 2 and owing 7 is the only thing that gives me owing 9. Okay. Questions there? Third one. Draw your balancing line. Do you have a parentheses to distribute? No, no. no grouping to them, so skip. Um, can I combine a variable with a constant? Do these like each other? No. Shit, you can look in the other page if you if you don't know. Do I have variables on different sides? No. So skip. Variables are already on the left. Do I have constants on different sides? Yes. Which one do we need to move? All right. What's the opposite of subtracting fifty? So add fifty side. That leaves me with three groups of y. That's zero. Forty dollars plus fifty dollars is ninety dollars. So now I have numbers on opposite sides. It's been separated. Do I know what y equals yet? No. No. So I have to keep going. Do the opposite. Opposite of multiplying by three? Divide. Dividing both sides by three. We get y equals Thirty dollars each. Make any corrections if you need to. All right, this fourth one, people get uh, confused a lot on, but it's the same process. Draw your balancing line. Uh, can I distribute? No. no. Can I combine these? No. no. Do I have variables on different sides? No. no. Do I have constants on different sides? 
Which one do I need to undo? There's no negative in it. It's three. What's the opposite of adding three? Subtract three. I'm hearing from the same people. Did anything happen to x divided by seven? No. So you leave it as x divided by seven. Three minus three is zero dollars. Five dollars and you spend three means you have two dollars. So I've separated variables and numbers. Do I have x by itself yet? No, I have some money divided between seven people and everybody got two dollars. All right, but if seven people, everybody got two dollars, how much was the money all together? Fourteen, let's see if that's what we get. So let's do the opposite. What's the opposite of dividing by seven? So you multiply each side by seven, and that's in your packet of notes. It's also on the other page. So multiply each side by seven, and it's multiplying the top number here, right? Because what's 7 divided by 7? 1x. Okay, don't put 49. It's multiplying to the top here. 2 times 7? 14. So we started off with $14. Split up between 7 people, and we had $2, and then we added $3 to get to 5. Okay? Um, these are multi steps, so it's going to take more. All right, ready? Draw your balancing line. Do I have a group to distribute? Yes. 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 Remove four groups of X means I remove four X. Removing debt, is that positive or negative? Positive. Negative times a negative. Alright, 4 times 2 is 8. Equals 16. So I've distributed, I check it off. Can I combine a variable with a constant? No. So I skip that step. Do I have variables on different sides? What variable is on your right? None. So I only have variables on one side. That's done already. Do I have constants on different sides? Yes. yes. Which one do you need to move? Eight. What's the opposite of adding eight? Subtracting yeah. eight. You do this checklist over and over and over again, your brain is automatically going to memorize it. And if you did that the way, you know, studying that way, then um, it would have been second nature to you when you got tested on it. Nothing happened negative four x, so you bring it down. Eight minus eight? Zero. Sixteen dollars minus eight dollars eight dollars. So now it's separated, variables on one side, constants on the other. I don't know what X is yet, so I have to do the opposite. What's the opposite of multiplying? Divide. Dividing. Opposite of multiplying by negative four is dividing by negative four. It's not opposite sign, it's opposite operation. The opposite of multiplying is what? Dividing. Dividing. So you did the opposite here. So you don't need to do an opposite sign. Right? You did the opposite by dividing. It's opposite operation, not opposite sign. Okay? Um, negative 4 divided by negative 4 is positive 1. 8 divided by negative 4. Right? 8 folks, you split up the negative 4 debt. You owe two. So everybody's owed two dollars. Okay. Um, questions on that one? No. On the quiz, I'm going to grade. You're going to get two grades on the set, and then also for the accuracy. So say you mess up on the sign. I will still give you uh, money if you do the, the next step correctly. So if you're supposed to like separate next and you did that even though your signs are off, I'm going to give you money for that step. And then you'll get separate money for it being correct. Okay? Um, I'll explain what I mean by that. Next one. Is there a grouping symbol for you to distribute? No. Skip. Do you have like terms on the left? Yes, I have the B's here, right? 
eight B, eight bags of candy minus five bags of candy makes how much? Three bags of candy. Did anything happen to the three? No. So bring it down. That's a B, not a thirty-six. So three B plus three equals eight. So I combine like terms. Do I have variables on different sides? No. So skip. Do I have constants on different sides? So opposite of adding three, subtract three. That leaves me with three B. Three minus three is zero. Eight minus three is five. So I've separated numbers. Do the opposite to get your variable. What's the opposite of multiplying by three? Dividing by three. Dividing by three. If you follow these step A and B, your answer will always be something simple like that. It'll be uh, right either three times B or B divided by three. It'll be simple. So I divide both sides by three. That's one B. Does three go into five? Does three go into five evenly? No. All right. So I would just leave it as five thirds. On your quiz, you can leave it as a fraction if it doesn't go into it evenly. So if it's four divided by two, then you need to put two as your answer. Questions on that one? So that one was three steps, three events happened. All right, let's go to one with variables on opposite sides. Here we go. Um, can I distribute anywhere? No. No, there's no grouping. Can I combine a variable with a constant? Variable with a constant? No. Meaning it's already been simplified. Do I have variables on different sides? Yes. yes. Choose which one you want to move. 2x? Fine. I can move 7x if I wanted to. It does not matter. We're going to move 2x. What's the opposite of adding? Because that's positive. So subtract 2x. 7x minus 2x. 5x plus 3. 2x minus 2x is 0, and bring down the negative as well. Okay, don't forget to bring down the sign. So I've separated letters to the left side. So I want to separate numbers to the right. I'm going to move 3. What's the opposite of adding 3? So subtract 3. It leaves me with 5x. 3 minus 3 is 0. I owe 12. I owe 3. That means I owe 15. Okay, I've separated numbers to the other side, but I only I know what five x's are. I want to know what one x is. Often multiplying by five, yeah, dividing by five, and what I do to one side, I must do to the other. That leaves me with x equals negative three because I owe fifteen dollars. I split up between five accounts. Each of those accounts owes three bucks. Make any corrections if you need to. This was three events, so three steps to solve it. One, two, three. Okay. Um, last one. Can I distribute? Yes. All right. Three times two x is six x. Three times negative seven, negative twenty-one. Five times three x, fifteen x. 5 times 4, positive 20. So I distribute it. Can't combine anywhere. So I skip it. I have variables on different sides. Which one would you like to move? 15x? Alright. Opposite of adding 15x? If you subtracted 6x, that's fine. Just make sure you get the same answer. 6x minus 15x is negative 9x. That's 0 plus 20. So I've separated letters. Now I want to undo the 21. Opposite of subtracting 21, you add 21. Remember the opposite operation, so don't say positive, say add. So negative 9x, that's 0. $20 plus $21 is $41. So I've separated, now I solve. Opposite of multiplying by negative 9 is dividing by negative 9. 
that leaves me with x equals positive divided by negative is a negative 41 ninth. For the test, you can or the quiz, you can leave it in fraction form. Yep. So let me do that really quick. If you subtract six, there's only one answer to equations, so it will always give you the same answer. That will give you negative 21 equals 9x plus 20. Subtract 20, you get negative 41. There's 9x, divide by 9, and you should get negative 41. Tomorrow.